Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to do a look inspired by a lipstick. So the lipstick in mind is this Dior 999 red lipstick. This is the classic red from Dior. This whole look is going to be inspired by this one product. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. So I've already filled in my eyebrows and if you will notice, there is some redness right around here. That's because I had to pluck my unibrow. So my skin is a little bit red. But yeah, I want to do a look based off of 999. I think I want the lips to be the main center of attention and then have the rest of the features be a bit softer. And yeah, let's just go ahead and dive into this look. I went ahead and looked on the internet and apparently Sephora with Dior created a couple looks around 999, but like this was three or four years ago. And Dior Makeup also did a recent one with Bella Hadid. I think this was last year's video. It was with their liquid lipsticks, like the 999 version of the liquid lipstick. But today we're gonna go ahead and use this one here. This is from the um, Holiday 2018 collection, Midnight Wish. I'm blabbing a whole lot. Let's go ahead and dive into this look. I have my coffee here. Let's go ahead and start. Now for the primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Fenty Rihanna primer. I have a sample here from Sephora. This is this little bad guy here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of this. And I went ahead and used this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion off camera, but that's what I use for my eyelids. So for the eyes today, I wanna to use the palette from Midnight Wish. This, is what, this one is called Moonlight. This is 057, this one here. So some of the looks that I've seen for 999 are a bit um, more warm tone, but for me, when I think of a 999 look, I think middle of winter, something more cool toned, eyes really minimal, like maybe some silver, a little bit of black maybe, but just very basic and just having the red lip really come through. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna go into the middle silver shade, the one that says Dior, and I'm just gonna take some of this with a flat brush and just sweep this on the lid. So over the weekend, we went to see Bohemian Rhapsody, the Queen um, biopic or <laughs> Freddie Mercury biopic. It was really good. Have you guys seen it? It's definitely worth it. I'm sure like my demographic on YouTube is like 30, 40, 50, 60 plus. So you guys, you guys know who Queen is and you know what happens to Freddie Mercury. So like there's no real spoilers, but anyway, it's very good. And then with whatever's left on this brush here, we're just gonna sweep up here. Anyway, I don't know if like everything in the movie was 100% accurate. I think some of the timelines they might have switched up a little bit, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. And two weeks ago, we went to see In the Shallows, or In the Shallow, the Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper movie. That was so good, so good. I'm trying a new coffee creamer because ever since a few months ago, remember I told you guys that I was making my coffee one morning and when I put my cream in the coffee, the cream curdled. Like it was supposed to be good for like several more weeks, but it went bad and it like curdled in my coffee cup. Ever since then, I've been using non-dairy creamers because I've just been like so traumatized. So I'm trying one now. It's like a coconut milk one. It's called like the coconut bliss one, I think it's called. Anyway, it's very nice. It's the plain one because they had different flavors. I think they had a vanilla one, but I just got the plain one and then I add like a little Splenda, I think it's called. The one in like the yellow packet. Like we like it's not like the real sugar, it's like the fake sugar. These are my adventures in a non-dairy creamer. With my finger, I'm gonna go into the light shade here. I'm just gonna press into the palette here, like like this, and then I'm going to press this on the lid. So basically what I want is for this like silver color to be kind of like a wash all over the lid, on the mobile lid especially, but even if it goes up a little bit, I'm okay with that. So I'm kind of alternating between tapping in with my finger and then just blending it out just like a little bit. Now with a little sponge, I'm dipping back into the middle shade, this silver one here, and I'm taking a little sponge like this, and I'm just going to trace this on the bottom lashes. I do want to go in with the darker color, but I think I'm going to wait until after I do the rest of my face makeup. So let's go ahead and do the face makeup then. I'm going to go ahead and use the Chanel Sublimage Le Thé Foundation. 
and I'm using this because it's very dewy and pretty and I just want to have really nice skin. Okay, so moving on, I'm using my Cure de Peau Concealer. This is in the shade called Almond. I still have some left, but that's like at the maximum here. I'm kind of sad because it's really expensive, but it's so good. Definitely worth it. I did a whole review talking about this. Spoiler, it's great. And then taking whatever is left on this little brush, going on the inner corner here, just cleaning up that area. And then we can go over top with like more silver or white eyeshadow. But this just like opens up the eye area and just makes it more awake. Now, since um, it's pretty much winter here in Canada now, I am lacking a bit of sunshine and tan. So I'm gonna go into my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder. This is a number 50. As you can see, this is very well loved. I'm hitting pan. This is pretty dark for me. So I just go in very lightly. And just like go over where I would like tan naturally. And I feel like this kind of just like, whoop, um, just makes me look a little bit more tan but without like going orange. Cause I don't want to use like my actual bronzer to like do this cause that'll look crazy. But just doing this, I feel just, I don't know, makes me feel healthier. <laughs> looks like, I feel like I look healthier. So oh, by the way, if you see like white powder, that is um, dry shampoo. I use dry shampoo. And I'm going to go in with my real bronzer. This is the Benefit Hoola bronzer. And I'm just going to go in and go like this. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the darkest shade here with this brush. And I am just going to place some of this on the bottom lashes. And then I'm going to go into the top lashes and literally just like press this dark color here. Almost like a liner, but have it be very soft. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with lots and lots of mascara. This is the NARS Climax Mascara. I did a review on this as well. I will put that card around some here, up here. So for this look, don't be scared to go ham with the mascara. So just keep adding more. And then let's go in on the bottom lashes as well, just a little bit. And then I don't want my bottom lashes to look clumpy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these clean little sponges that came with the eyeshadow quad and just do this. I just remembered that I almost forgot to uh, set my face. This is the Bobbi Brown um, Sheer Pressed Powder, Sheer Finish Pressed Powder. I don't use a lot of this. I just like go over my nose. Since it's cold out, I will be blowing my nose a lot more. And then a little bit under the eye area. And that's really all I do to set my face because I don't have oily skin, so I don't need to go in really heavy. Um, I need a blush. I'm gonna go in with my Chanel number 72, Rose Initiale. This is like my goof-proof go-to blush. It kind of goes with everything, so I use it a lot because I don't have to like think about what it's gonna go with. I'm like, it'll probably look good with anything that I wear, makeup or clothing-wise, so. Might as well just go with that one. So something that I've started to do now that I kind of like is that I take whatever is left on the brush and I just like go on the bridge of my nose, like really lightly. I don't know, I just feel like it adds the color. It almost looks like tan or like freckles in a way. I don't know, I just like doing that. So I also still go around the temples here just to bring the color just like all over the face and the here. But I really like doing this on the bridge of my nose, I don't know why. Uh, so for the highlighter, I'm going in with my Benefit What's Up Cream to Powder Highlighter. This stuff is potent. It's very dewy, very luminous. Um, you can wear it more natural, but you can go pretty ham with it. And so since I want this to be ham, I'm going ham. And I just feel like having a lot of highlighter on right now. So I'm going to use this. This is a stick like this. Don't apply it directly on the skin. It doesn't work that well. Um, go in with your brush like this. Just swirl it around and then apply. I have that song, Don't Stop Me Now from Queen stuck in my head. I would play it for you, but I will 100% be copyright claimed if I do that. So no thank you. And now going in with a small taper brush, I'm going back into this cream highlighter and just going in on the inner corner here. 
And then on the brow bone too. Side note, I don't really love applying a highlighter around this area here. I put like a tiny bit on my nose, but like some people put it here. And for some reason, whenever I do that, I feel like I look like I have a head cold and like I'm just, I have a runny nose. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't really, yeah, no. Okay, last but not least, we have our Dior Rouge Bijou 999. This is what we came for. Now, of course, you could go in with a lip liner. If you are heading out for work and you want your lipstick to stay in place, I would recommend using a lip liner and just filling in your lips. But I'm okay with just like retouching right now. So there you go. This is my finished look. This is my Dior 999 inspired makeup look. I really like this. I think it's festive. Imagine it's like a cold, snowy day and you're walking down the street and all people can see in the snow is like your bright red lip. That's what I imagine. This is like the fantasy I create when I create makeup looks. This is like, I don't just create a look. I create like a whole world in which this makeup look exists. So for me, this makeup look exists like on a cold, snowy day and the only thing that shines through the snow is your red lip. That's that's the world that I choose to live in, okay? So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the, taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you guys have a, spent, a fantastic, wow, words are hard, fantastic, splendid day, or a fantastic, that's also good. Um, please make sure to go check out my video with Glamour Magazine and Ashley Graham. I still can't believe I'm actually saying these words out loud. If you are not in the know, um, one of my videos was featured on Glamour Magazine with, Lash with Ashley Graham. Blah, it's a big deal. I will put that in the description box. You can go check it out. Um, what else? Oh, so I ordered my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I'm impatiently waiting for it to come. I am like the most impatient person in the world. So anyway, hopefully I'll get them very soon and I can do a video. I think I'll do like a wear test with the lipsticks as well included in the video. We'll see. Um, what else? I think that's it for now yeah as always if you have suggestions or recommendations for looks you want to see i do want to do some comparisons and maybe combine the dior um holiday collection with the chanel holiday collection and if you guys want me to do some like um combinations with other former collections from dior and chanel kind of like mix them all together see what kind of looks we can create please let me know down in the comments i am all up for that i am so down so yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. I finished my coffee, as you can tell. And yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget that you are beautiful, you are kind, and you are capable. So go out there and conquer the world. So that's all I have for you guys for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.